you know, I made a video on the Elote lady diffusing the situation. But now, you know, you see these guys doing this to the guys selling masks, to the Latino making raspados, beating people up, beating our people up, homeboy. Oh you know what pisses me off more than anything? Us as Rasa and whoever has a platform, we're always trying to diffuse it, always trying to, you know, trying to throw a positive message on here. But what's pissing me off just as much as those guys is, where are the brothers at, man? Where are the African Americans with all this, with all their platforms? Always speaking against this, talking to their youngsters about getting their shit straight. You know, this shit right here is the kind of shit that'll start a race war. A lot of people around the country, and I see it in my messages all the time, talking about why are Southern Hispanics racist? Why are Sudanians racist? Why is California like that? What you guys don't see is this kind of shit, man. This kind of shit's been going on since the fucking 80s, man. You got motherfuckers going around abusing our people, slapping them around, and these are our most vulnerable. These are people who are most likely illegal, scared to go to the cops, and that's why these motherfuckers bullying them. But then again, where are the brothers at, man? All you guys that have platforms, I haven't heard one of you guys speak against this. I saw one uh, one uh, brother come out, and he was speaking nothing but facts, homie. Because when this shit kicks off, and it's going to kick off, you motherfuckers keep doing this shit, man. If nobody stops it, if nobody checks these youngsters, it's going to kick off, man. Straight up. People think it's a joke. People fucking say, oh, man, you're blowing shit out of proportion. And it's not, man. People are pissed off. People are tired of this bullshit. Tired of this nonsense, man. So to me, I'm calling out all the African-American brothers, all the guys who have platforms, speak up against this. And another thing, Rasa, you guys keep supporting all these rappers. You guys keep supporting all these actors. You guys are in love and infatuated with the black community. But where the fuck is the black community when you need them? I haven't seen one actor come out against this. I haven't seen one rapper come out against this. The media doesn't show us any fucking love. If it was a brown or a white person slapping up a black person off, guess what? Like this, in the media. The NAACP will be out of here, everything. But us, keep supporting those motherfuckers. Keep seeing what happens to you. You're going to keep getting slapped. You're going to keep fucking treated like shit, man. Wake the fuck up, Rasa. It's a, it's a, it's a thing that we need, to, we need to get together in our community first, man. This is some bullshit. I'm getting tired of it, man. But as long as you guys keep supporting these guys financially, they're going to keep treating you just the way they are now, man. Wake the fuck up. You know. All right. Start first, but give it all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. And greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Shalom. All right, I don't know how to try to get the, the name of this video up but basically um i want to do a quick video it's a brother Shaquat from the las vegas camp i want to do a quick video man because um something he's saying is true but he doesn't understand the big picture okay now here's the true sense of what he's saying the true sense is yeah man there's not a lot of lateral uh support okay there's not a lot of brown and black support of one another okay here's the difference though because we've been taught to be that way and there's a curse that's written right there on the title of that video and right here on the right of the screen in Deuteronomy and the curses the 54th verse in particular okay that does not give an excuse because the one place where you see this truly working is within the Hebrew Israelites okay I, I can't speak for all camps but here at Great Millstone, aka GMS, hey, all the twelve tribes, man. Every every tribe is a part of the, of the brotherhood, man. And no, and, and I'm yet to see someone get ostracized because of what tribe they're from. You know, I've I've, I've never seen that. So, um, yeah, at Great Millstone, black and brown, we got it right, man. You know. We, we we appreciate each other's differences and we love the the, the 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 one spirit that's connecting all of us together, okay? Which is the heavenly father spirit, okay, from from Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rokakodash. Okay, that's the name of the Heavenly Father God, Yahweh, his only begotten son, who they ignorantly call Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit, Harakakodash. Okay. Through that we have a beautiful brotherhood going. Okay, amongst our people. All right, and you guys are the ones that are, are left behind. And you leave it to this younger generation as he brought up. The black and brown younger. So you got to call them that. Can't call them Israelites or Jake. But, 
you know, you leave it to them. They don't know nothing, man. This is, and then it's our, the, uh, the older generation to teach them because we fuel that black and brown hatred, man. We don't, we haven't known different. Okay, we grew up in that in that BS, man. And now these kids grow up as it's the norm. But when I grew up, probably close to the same age as this guy, um, I had I had Mexican homeboys. You know? I knew homeboys, nah, I wasn't in a gang or nothing like that, but I knew homeboys that uh Hispanics that were in, in black crib gangs and, and you know, and I also knew uh, blacks that were in Hispanic gangs. Okay? I watched it. I watched it happen all the time. Full Spanish, full breakdown, the whole nine. The language, the women, all everything, everything accepted in both directions, and that's why by the time I came into the truth and the, and, and it was broken down that we were all the same people, I gravitate to this thing so 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 swiftly, okay? Because in my spirit, I understood that we were the same people. What the hell is wrong with you guys out there? Not realizing we're all from the same spirit. We're all the same people, but. But you so-called African Americans, you blacks out there, you 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 you're the Judites, the the Levites, and the and the, the Benjamites. Okay, you you tribes particularly, y'all y'all rather be with that dirty ass African out there, man. Y'all rather gravitate and act like you him because y'all both dark skinned. You don't look nothing, nor share any traits like that same man. Just the fact that your skin color is is, is real dark. That got nothing to do with nothing, man. But when you look at the people that live next door to you, two streets over. You went to the same elementary school, junior high, and high school with. You went the same, you did all the same parts. You did, you grew up the same. Liking the same thing, doing the same things with a small twist on it, and you got evil for them. Okay? So I'm going to read this, this couple of scriptures, man. It just, it's not many. Because the point is, we're brothers from the same spirit. Okay? We all come from um, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Our forefather is Jacob, whose name was was changed to Israel when he when he when he wrestled the angel. All right. So anyway, I'm gonna start right here with the curse, Deuteronomy 28 and 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Okay. So we have a natural under eyeing envy, jealousy, hatred for for one another. That's between our own people. Okay, we don't high five and big up our people. Okay, as we should, just because we see them. You tell me how many young so-called Judites do you see walk around, you know, helping uh, Hispanic older Hispanic men with anything, or or that trust from that older Hispanic man to to for the young black guy to help him. Okay, and all the way around, you know. I mean, it, every every way around, you have to really examine how far away our people are from each other, man. That truly proves how destroyed and cursed we are. We don't know who we are, nor our own brothers are. We don't recognize our brothers, but we're we're standing in the same predicaments, and the same problems, okay, the same curses, okay, like the same foods, women, clothing styles, you know, everything. Dominant in so many ways. Okay. I'm going to stop at that. Right there with that description. I'm going to go to Genesis. And this is be quick, man. This this shouldn't take a whole lot of breakdown to, uh, to, to, to understand. All right. I'm going to go to the, yeah, the prophecy chapter. All right. Um, let me see. Get to the point. Reuben, who is the so-called Seminole Indians, okay, let me keep going, Simeon and Levi, which are, uh, the Dominicans are the Simeonites, and the uh, Levites are the Haitians, they share the same island with uh, Haiti and, and the Dominican Republic, even though they're two different languages and that, that city's divided, they both have witchcraft that they that they practice, so the Voodoo, Santeria, all those different and you, I'm sure you guys know more than I do, okay, about the instruments of cruelty that go on over there, those witchcrafts, all right, or in their habitation. That's what they do in their homeland over there. It says, um, let me get down to the, to the part. Um, let's go to verse eight. It says, Judah, thou art whom thy brethren shall praise. How are they gonna praise Judah through Yahushua? Okay, and Judah becomes the head tribe. 
through through trials and to keep it simple, through little trials and tribulation that went on with Reuben and then uh, uh, Levi and Simeon. Was it Levi and Simeon? Yeah, I believe, yeah. The, the three brothers that were ahead of him. Because Judah was the fourth uh, born. Okay? They, they disobeyed an order. Going back to Dina and Reuben uh, broke the law. Um, even with his father's concubine. You know, read up on that yourselves. Anyway, it says, um, uh, Thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. The other, the other nations this is, um, that are born uh, to our forefathers. It says, Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down. He crouched as a lion and as an old lion who shall rouse him up. And Judah takes a while for Judah to finally get turned all the way up. Okay? It takes a while for the so-called black man to get to get riled up. Okay? And especially now because we're all beat, beaten up. But these are the last days. And this is the, the, the description uh, of what would be going on with our people in the last days. It's key key prophetic uh, uh, description in detail. Okay? It says, The scepter shall not depart from Judah, because your house shall will have it, nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come. Uh, uh, Yahweh Shai. That's another name for Yahweh Shai, Shiloh. And until him, and until him that gathereth of the people be. Okay, let's, let's jump down. Uh, it goes on to describing them. The Judites, particularly Yahweh Shai. We see here real quick. The Zebulon. The, um, uh, where are they from? They're the, uh, the Guatemalans, the Panamanians. Um, let me see. Right here, verse 14, Issachar. Issachar is a strong ass crouching down between two burdens. Okay, he's a strong worker, man. There's not, that shouldn't be a, that's not a, a, um, a stereotype. That's not a knock on, on those people. Hey, man, our brothers and the so-called Mexicans are hard workers. I, you know, I, I have a, it was funny. I have a video I was just going to mess around with, but I think I'm going to end up playing it. Okay? And I don't know Spanish, but I can tell. I'm, I'm going to bring it up in a minute, but I'm going to read the scripture. But when you, matter of fact, I'm going to get it now. Bear with me. I'm going to go get the video. Uh, all right. So this is the video here. Now I'm going to play it. Now, here's the, here's the point, though. When we watch this video, um... The guy is, is commentating <laughs> this other uh, guy carrying up a, a, a plywood, a sheet of plywood, up a ladder one-handed by himself. Okay? And the comment I don't know Spanish, but the way he's speaking, I can easily hear the translation. You know? You can hear them saying the same things a young Judite or Native American would be saying. You know? Just, just, just theatrical shit talking, Jake. Okay. Now I'm a commentator. I don't really know Spanish. Anyway, here we go. Let's go, let's go, brother. Let's go, papi. You got it, going up. You got it. There you go. Okay, <laughs> and that's just the, you know, the just the, I don't know exactly that's what he said when I asked somebody to translate it, like, that's pretty much what he was saying, just hyping him up, and I was like, damn, that's our people, man, our people are the same way, man, people are the same way, but that strong ass, man, this dude's a hard worker, the fact that he's doing that, and he's putting his energy toward that. Okay, they they're hard workers. They don't have a problem knocking out jobs and and, and you know and, and and working. I don't want to say slaving because we all got a slave for something, but but just working. Okay, let me go back. Okay, and that video was was really <laughs> it was entertaining to me. I I enjoyed it because I was just as hype as as the, as the guy commentating. Watch when he climbed this right now. Hey, Poppy got it, man. He got it one-handed. He's been doing this. This is what he do. Hey, the same, we're the same people. Okay? We're the same people. We both two-step. We both drink. We both 
man, it's ridiculous, man. Okay, but anyway, he's a strong ass crouching down between two burdens. Uh, uh, a donkey or an ass is known for being a good worker, a good um, um, laborer. Okay, nothing wrong with that, man. That is honorable. It says crouch down between two burdens. The, the breakdown I've always heard about it was um, there in Central America, crouch down between what? North America and South America. Okay, those are the two burdens, okay? The place that our people uh, were in the captivity altogether. It says, uh, and he saw that rest was good. Siesta, okay? Had that siesta, man. The siesta is a major part of being a good worker. A good lunch, and, and, and you know, is also a part of that. Just me being around a car, I enjoy a car like that. I enjoy Judah like that. I enjoy all the different tribes. Okay? It says, um, and he saw that rest was good and the land that it was pleasant. Okay? And bowed his shoulder to bear and became a servant unto tribute. Yeah, began to work for hire. That's what we, this man is known as a good worker. And they will fire you Judites and you other tribes to hire Issachar because they know what they're going to get out of Issachar. You may have to learn a new language and speak Spanish to communicate, but guess what? They're gonna come and they're gonna give you, they're gonna work, man. They're gonna work for you. They are going to work. Okay? And they're gonna they're gonna do a job well done and get the high five and they're gonna make their money that way. And there's nothing wrong with that, man. So the guy he's right about these people not speaking up on the same platform on these certain platforms, but know who does speak up? The Hebrew Israelites speak up about Issachar. The Hebrew Israelites speak up about Judah. We speak up about everybody, including the different uh, uh, um, Israelite foreigners that may look like other nations, but are really our people. We speak up on them as well. Okay? And because you don't know who the Hebrew Israelites are, or you don't know that the so-called African Americans are your brothers, or the so-called Mexicans are your brothers, or your Puerto Ricans, or your, you can go all the way around all the 12 tribes. Okay, are, are, are the Dominicans, the, the Haitians, the, the, the West Indians, the Seminole Indians, the North American Indians, you know, you, just the South Americans, you start going, the, the, the Virgin, all of that, man, all of that area, Central Americans, you go through all of that, they're all the same people, man, scattered in there as Israelites, okay, going through the same problems, whether it be barrio uh, projects or, 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 um, or the Reds, man, or the favelas, whatever. It's still the same things happening to the same people. You start looking at the way we cook, we cook in the same type fashions, man. Bread or tortilla or flatbread, whatever, man. We all have the same similar uh, diet according to the regions we live in. If we're coastal or if we're more inland, okay? So we are the same people. And all of that that that, that cross, um, um, looking at the other uh, brother, uh, awkward man hey you're looking at the wrong people okay it's gonna be hard to find a lot of uh so-called african americans to stand up for you but guess what your brother the israelites they're 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 speaking out okay they're speaking out and you start going into um to some of these larger camps in these major cities the la the, the chicago the the new york's the texas camps you start seeing a, a real diverse northern and, king, and southern kingdom, okay? Because the northern kingdom is who? They're the so-called Hispanics and Native and uh, Native American Indians in those tribes, particularly, and they range just as dark as some of the other tribes, the so-called Negro tribes. Whereas the southern kingdom is the is Judah, is the so-called Negroes, or the African Americans, the West Indians, okay, or the Benjamites and the Haitians, or the Levites, okay. And our, and our kingdom have been divided. We ain't been back, but we, we back now. We back now. Okay? And there's a lot. If you start looking all over the, the, the internet, I know this algorithm got you lost in the sauce, but you start digging enough, you're going to run into us, man. Okay? You're going to see those, who are those with a platform speaking up on it. All right? So I rambled a little bit at the end of this, but yeah, just want to kind of tie that together, man. We're the same people going through the same curses, and one of those curses is that we will bump heads and have disregard for one another. But in the final days, we are still, no matter what you may believe or, or not believe about one another, we do have a connection. And that connection is that we come from the same father because we're brothers. And before long, we're going to completely unite back together. I don't mean everybody. I mean 
through the spirit we're going to unite where the elect is going to come back as one nation one 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 army one family okay we're going to we're going to create the kingdom of heaven from our loins with 12 of each tribe all right according to the, the book of uh in fact i'm gonna get it since i'm since you're talking so much let should grab another scripture on the seventh chapter <clears throat> Yep, I'm going to read it. Um, I'll read verse 3, Revelation 7 and 3. Hurt, uh, saying, Hurt not the earth, till neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahshai, in their foreheads. Okay, please seal that, 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 that mark. Okay, it says, uh, And I heard the number of them which were sealed. They were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Okay? It didn't say, but then there'll be a mingled. Nah, man, this is all the twelve tribes, okay? Of the tribe of Judah were sealed twelve tribes, twelve thousand salat. Tribe of Reuben, twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed twelve thousand. The tribe of Asher were sealed twelve thousand. The tribe of Naphtali um, were sealed 12,000. The tribe of Manasseh, which is the so-called Cubans, were sealed 12,000. The tribe of Simeon was sealed 12,000. The tribe of Levi was sealed 12,000. Uh, the tribe of Issachar were sealed 12,000. We're all in the same boat. Okay? Trying to achieve the same goal for the same penny for the same kingdom of heaven. Okay? Of the tribe of Zebulon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. That counts as, uh, um, Ephraim, okay, that's the head tribe of uh, the northern kingdom, the youngest son of Joseph. Uh, anyway, it says, uh, of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000, okay, and that was the point. We're all going for the same penny and the same same goal here, okay, but if you guys don't know that, that, that you're worried about the persecution of black or brown and trying to squash it and be Hey, man, the army that you're looking for to stand up is a spiritual army, not an army of uh, of, of carnality that's, that's chanting down this place with the words of the Heavenly Father. And our job is to, to continue uh, giving the play-by-play -play of this place being destroyed, of your, of your garbage two-thirds that, 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 are, that are just badass kids and won't get right, okay, of, uh, of, of, um, of these prophecies. The things on the earth happening, we're giving the play-by-play -play before it happens. Okay, the current events, calling people out through the Spirit. And we and we wait with patience for our big brother to come and seal us, man. Because the same big brother, Yahweh Shai, that same person you call Jesus, the Messiah. Hey, he's the same God of the so-called Negroes as he is of the so-called Mexicans, man. Okay, and all the other 12 tribes. But he's not the same God. Of all the other nations of the world. It's not for everybody. Okay. So be be happy. You're one of the 12 uh, involved in this thing. But we are brothers. And we will come back together. Whether it's you or the next man. But 12,000 will be sealed out of each tribe. In unity. All in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And then the one third also will come in, come in. And which are also Israelites from their respective tribes. Okay. Anyway, with that, man, Lord, when this was edifying, I just have to kind of speak on this. It's kind of a current event, you know, and I'm, I'm not going to allow this guy to come in here and, and try to bring any division. I, I appreciate him calling out the so-called uh, Southern Kingdom, okay? For like, hey, man, y'all don't speak up for us, but we love their music. We love the, to, to go support them and buy their all this and that and just give them all this money. They don't speak up for us. He's right about that. You, you're looking at two-thirds. Okay, the people you really, the real leaders of our people are on the corners teaching or on the internet teaching in the name of our Heavenly Father. Okay, in the name of in His only begotten Son through the Holy Spirit with that Holy Bible that we all know and love. Okay, regardless if some of you have lost a doubt. All right, so anyway, to the next one, man, giving all praise and glory to the Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshai, Bashim, Kakodash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, greetings, salutations, and blessings. On to your leg. To the next one. Shout out one.